you're not expecting bad manners on my side. I don't think it's really appropriate for uh, people in one democracy to uh, comment, especially with an agenda on the workings of another democracy. appropriate for uh, people in one democracy to uh, comment especially with an agenda on the workings of another democracy on the question about uh, you know what is happening in american uh, politics look if i have just said that i don't think it's really appropriate for uh, people in one democracy to uh, comment uh, uh, especially with an agenda on the workings of another democracy. Surely now you're not expecting bad manners on my side. You know, uh, if I'm complaining, others uh, do not follow the right etiquette. I think it's important at least I set an example. So the best answer I can give you is not to answer that question. Uh, the, uh, on the India-Japan uh, relations, you know, uh, yes, we, we, you know, our, our tourism numbers can improve. It's growing, but it can definitely improve. Our education numbers are not good. So we have been discussing it with our Japanese partners. Uh, we feel there should be a greater effort made to get Indian students. There are uh, more than a million Indian students studying across the world. Uh, I think the number of Indian students in Japan is what? Uh, okay, 1,500. Okay. Uh, so... So clearly something is missing there. And uh, so today, in fact, uh, Minister Kamikawa uh, informed me that Japan was extending the JET program uh, to India. So we have to look at a number of steps. I don't think there's a single, you know, we think, for example, uh, there are countries where a million Indians go out as tourists. You know, sometimes millions in plural. But I don't think the tourism numbers are that great in Japan. You know, they're very high in Thailand, they're high in Singapore, they're high in the U.S., uh, in Europe. So I think changes in visa policy, changes in education policy, uh, getting more familiar. It's not only business which is not familiar with India. I think uh, many Japanese civil society organizations, even universities, I think their picture of India is a very old picture. So, you know, like, like in our digital world, I think they all need to press a refresh button.